My iPhone on the right has the brand new Siri fully working. However, my iPhone on the left is stuck with the old Siri. I will show you how to fix this, but first hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. It really helps me out. Thank you. Okay, so you have to meet a lot of requirements. The first one is we need to open settings, then general, and then software update. And so iOS 18.1 is the minimum iOS requirement. If you have the iOS 18.0, you can either wait for the 18.1 or newer to release and then you update to it. However, at the time recording, iOS 18.1 doesn't actually exist yet. So what you need to do is enroll for iOS 18 beta and then turn on the developer beta option. This takes you know, 30 seconds. So what you do is you head to developer.apple.com. Once you're in this website, tap the icon at the top left and then tap on account. So we need, to, we need to sign in with our Apple ID. This is completely free to do. You don't actually need to pay for anything. So I'm just gonna sign in. After the sign in, you may need to agree to terms and conditions. You must do that. You don't need to enroll today. This costs money. Once you've signed in, that's all we need to do. You'll get the beta updates option. You turn on developer beta. So turn that one on. And then you can update to the iOS 18.1. Now, once you are on iOS 18.1, you need to meet even more requirements. Remember, this iPhone on the left has the old Siri. However, it is in iOS 18.1. So the extra requirements you need to meet are the following. First of all, the minimum iPhone requirement. You need to have iPhone 15 Pro, iPhone 15 Pro Max, or any of the iPhone 16 series. This means the iPhone 15 non-pro, which released just last year, is unsupported with Apple intelligence. This is just Apple, you know, forcing that restriction. Now you have to meet even more requirements because this is an iPhone 15 Pro Max on iOS you know, 18.1 or newer. And so you'll notice there is a release schedule for Apple intelligence. The Apple intelligence is in the United States right now. You can use it. In the UK, it comes out December 2024. In other countries, it comes out mid-2025. Now, if you hear from my accent, I am in the UK right now and I have the Apple Intelligence. We can actually work around this release schedule and get the Apple Intelligence today, right now. However, I wouldn't recommend doing this on your main iPhone just watch what I do and see if you want to follow it. So there are two steps we can take. The first one is we're going to open up the App Store and we need to change our Apple ID country to the United States. So we'll tap on our profile at the top right and then we'll tap on our Apple account and it should bring us into the sign in portal. So I'll sign in with my face ID and we're gonna to go to country and region, and we need to change this one to the UK. Now, the reason why I wouldn't always recommend doing this is because you cannot you know, have any subscriptions active. It won't let you change your country or region if you've added a card to your Apple ID. I'll cover alternative arrangements if you don't wanna change the Apple ID country. I would only do this if you haven't bought anything on your Apple account. Otherwise, don't do this. I'm not gonna do this personally. So you tap on change country or region, and then you need to use a new country. You then Google for fake address generator US, and you go to the fake address generator, and you will need to enter in you know, a new address using this fake US street generator. Just put all that in, it will change your country or region, and then we go into settings, we go into general. We then need to go into language and region. And we also need to change the region to the United States. If you do this, your Apple Pay will stop working. So just keep that in mind. But you change that one to the United States. And then you'd also go into Apple Intelligence and Siri. 
and under language you need to set this one also to English United States. Once all of that is done that is the first way and you'll get the Apple intelligence option which you can just turn on. Sometimes you have to apply and wait a couple of hours. Now the second way if you don't want to change your existing Apple ID is we're going to do the following. We need to create a new Apple account and then we need to sign out of our existing account from iCloud and we sign into the new one. So in order to do that we're going to open a browser and we're going to go to appleid.apple.com and we'll just log into this here. Then we're going to tap the lines at the top and we're going to create an Apple account. And so once this is done we're going to go through the creation portal. What we need to do is make sure the country or region is set to the US. Under your phone number use your real phone number. So I'm from the UK so I'd use my UK phone number and just create the Apple ID. What I do is I just use the same password, same information, just use that US fake address. Remember you need to go to fake you know, address generator US and then go to the fake US address generator and use that fake US address. Once the Apple ID is created we need to open settings and we need to go into our Apple account at the top and we will need to sign out of our iCloud. Now most of your data will be backed up to the cloud, just verify that's the case. When we sign out a lot of the data which is in iCloud will be taken away from our iPhone and so just note that is the downside. Now you can always sign back in to your old Apple account and then you know your old iCloud and get all that data back. Again this is why I recommend doing this on a spare iPhone. This is my personal iPhone 15 Pro Max. I don't do any of these shenanigans however this is a, a spare iPhone 15 Pro Max. That's why I can play around. So you just sign up of your existing Apple account. You then sign into your new one and then just make sure under general and then the language and region that you have set the region to United States and then also under Apple Intelligence and Siri your language is set to English United States and you'll get the option and you'll be able to turn this one on. That is just so complicated but you have to remember this is Apple's restrictions. They could include Apple Intelligence for all countries today. They decided to limit the release they've also decided to restrict the iPhones and the iOS software. However, I hope this video helps.